Hello friends, this is Shelly from Koala Knits and Knacks and I am excited to show you this uh, countertop gnome towel topper. Um, I have made it with Karen Simply Soft yarn. Um, I have the pom-poms there that I order off Amazon. I had the beads and uh, um, there's a one and a half inch binder ring that's inside of the um, hat that holds the towel and I got those at Dollarama. You'll see those further into the video. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a simple, beautiful little um, countertop towel holder to make and I just love him. I'm going to just switch it out here and show you a different one. Um, that's another one with, with uh, Let It Snow towel. Okay, and then I made one in, in uh, a green color. I'm going to make a bunch of these actually. And they're just going to sit on my counter in the winter. And I'm going to use them as my hand towel dryer. So just when you like want to just dry your hands or or if you're cooking and you just need to wipe your hands a little bit, um, it's just a perfect little thing to have and it makes such a beautiful little decoration on your counter. Um, you know what, you could even use these in your bathroom. If you're having guests come over, put a nice Christmas soap and a nice candle um, on your bathroom counter and put a, a little Christmas hand towel in there. How beautiful would that be? And for gift giving, uh, hostess gifts, um, just, just just a wonderful, simple little idea. So quick and easy to make, but so much fun to make and so much joy um, to bring as you see them sitting on your counter. I just love them. Um, and I hope you do too. Now, uh, if you'll be watching on my channel for another one. I'm going to be making one that hangs on the stove, on the little handle of your stove or your dishwasher um, or your fridge handle. Uh, one that, that hangs uh, uh, there as well. So this one again is for a countertop towel holder and, and there's one coming that's going to be for hanging so watch for that. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Happy knitting my friends. We're gonna get started. Okay so if you love gnomes you're going to love this project. It's a fast quick project and uh, it'll make a great Christmas gift or a hostess gift. I'm just really excited about making these. I think that they're, they're so adorable. Okay so I have marked my um, red peg that's red mark um, divider that's between my last white and my first black needle so I always see when it's coming around. Gotta line those two up with my um, yarn counter and we're going to do a long tail cast on. So you're going to put your tail into the middle of your 22 needle addy and you're going to hook it around the back of that first black needle in front of the next behind and in front all the way around all 22 needles till you get to the last white needle and it should be in front of that last white needle just like that okay you're going to open your yarn guide this is called the long tail cast on going to open your yarn guide, set your counter to zero. Now I always set my counter to zero halfway around, but because I was talking, I forgot. Just because uh, I don't want to forget when I get here <laughs> and then start, and then start uh, turning and realizing I forgot to mark my, um, my uh, counter to zero. So I always do that halfway around uh, my, my cast on row. Okay, so for this project, we're going to knit 65 rows. So first couple of rows are always a little sticky and then with this Karen Simply Soft yarn it just goes just like a dream but you know what you can use whatever yarn you you like I often use Craft Smart yarn I've used like all any kind Bernat um, premium yarn is beautiful and whatever yarn you choose this is a four weight yarn and I'm going to do 65 rows I am coming up to 65 That's, this is 64 and 65 and I'll finish that row until I get this black marker in centered with my yarn uh, feeder there and I'm going to cut off a long tail open my guide take my yarn out make sure it stays behind this last white needle and then we're going to cast off do the long tail cast off so we're going to um, thread the needle that came with our machine or whichever needle you like and we're going to rotate your handle. I'm gonna take off the first one, pull it through. I always take off three or four before I go ahead and and uh, and take and, and circle it around so that there's more free stitches. Okay, so let's do number three, four, and five. Now I can now I can rotate it so that there's more stitches that I can pick up. Six. 
hold them with your thumb on the needle because you don't want them to fall off. And only go as far as you're comfortable going because if, if you rotate it and they fall off this, these two little red um, teeth, then you'll, you'll drop a stitch and you'll have to fix that. So um, only go as much as you're comfortable with. Some people circle the whole barrel and, and then take them all off and that's fine, that's great, but I choose not to do that. I'm too scared to do that. I don't wanna drop stitches. So I just go more slowly and get them, get them off this way. Okay, so we've got all 22 stitches off and there we go, we've got our nice tube. And from there, we're going to, to take it and just stretch it out in every direction. Oh, this yarn is so soft, I just love it. Okay, stretch it out in every direction, just like that. And then we're going to assemble. Now that we're ready to assemble, um, we've got our stuff uh, all set out for us. We've got our pom-pom. I'm gonna choose this gray one. Um, I blow dry my pom-poms once they're on my hats and on my projects because then it makes them so much nicer. But you know what? If you just shake it really good too, it does kind of the same thing. Um, so anyways, I've got my pom-pom. It's like a gray with some white flecks in it. So it's gonna look like, an, like a senior gnome. <laughs> I love that. I've got my um, button. And it doesn't matter that it's got holes in the end because um, we do a glue gun around that, gunning around that with our, our hat. So I'll show you that in a second. And then I've got my ring. Um, again, I got these at the dollar store and they're binder rings, but um, it's just because it's the first thing I saw. And then in my head, as soon as I saw it, I realized what I wanted to do with this craft. Seriously, I um, it was the binder ring that, that gave me the idea. <laughs> so dumb <laughs> but you know it somehow the brain works in weird ways so um this is what we're what i have chosen to use but you know what i think um a plastic shower ring or a wooden shower ring or any kind of a ring would work it doesn't have to open and close these probably aren't the kind that i'll get next time i'll get ones that um that are just solid around and don't don't open and close i don't want this snagging um the inside of of the hat as you take the towel on and off okay and then my scissors so and my needle so we're going to do this just like we would do a normal beanie we're going to um pull this end tight and i know that this is a bit of a long end and i'm going to cut it just a little bit but i do want to keep um, a little bit of a length on it for when i'm working on the inside and tying everything together the the ring and the and the pom-pom okay so i'm going to go around the end here just making sure I'm still in the camera. Going around the end here. Just once. Pulling that, pulling it tight, making a little knot. So I'm gonna lose it there. And then going through this, putting my needle in through the center there, I'll put my hand up through the tube. I'm gonna grab that needle so it doesn't snag on the sides of the, uh, of the beanie as I pull it through. And I'm going to just pull the end through like that, pull my needle through, got my yarn end out, take my needle off, and I'm going to close up the other end just the same way. Keeping this this end um, out for now. We will put it back into the center in a second, but for now we're gonna just leave it out. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm gonna close up this end. When it's an adult beanie, I usually go around two or three times just to make sure it's secure and uh, it's not going to come apart with with wear. Um, but for, for something like this, you don't need to be that per particular. Okay, so then I'm going to tie a knot and I'm going to tie it tight so that that inside layer comes up nice and snug to the outside layer here. Do a double knot. Then I'm going to thread both ends on my needle. I'm going to cut that off so they're even. Just a little bit easier to work with. Cut both ends off, thread my needle, and we're going to pull it through the center again. Okay. Just through the top there. Oh, that one's a tough one. In through all the layers. It's not usually that tough, so I'm actually getting it on the side there, but it's okay. And pull it through. Wow, that one gave me some 
some trouble. It's never been that tight before, so. What is going on? There we go, wrong end. Okay, there we go. We've got our little beanie made. And it's just gonna be like, that's so cute. It's gonna be just like that. Um, but we're gonna work on the inside now. You know, um, the hardest part of these videos for me uh, in, in making these videos is to find a, a way to do it without the shadows. Oh my goodness, I'm such an amateur in that respect. And and uh, if you have any tips for me, you can put it in the comment. I've tried lightings, I've tried whatever, and I, like, I, I've gone to different rooms, I've, gone, <laughs> I've tried, tried it at different times of the day. And uh, it's just the hardest thing. So when I have shadows, my deepest apologies Apologies for that. Um, I hope it's not too hard to see. Okay, so there we go. We've got our little beanie. That's going to be the outside, and we're going to put a little pom pom on the top there, but we're going to turn it inside out for now. And we're going to work with these two little ends that we've got there. Okay, so grab your, your ring that you've got, take one end of your yarn, and I just uh, wind it around, I don't know, four or five times. Okay, that's good, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna wind it around as well. Okay, and then I'm going to take the two ends and tie a really tight knot so that this little ring is snug up against the top of my beanie. I'm choosing to put that little knot thing in there. Um, end in there just so that that uh, it doesn't snag on my dish towels and stuff which probably wouldn't anyways but um, if you've got a ring that doesn't have that you're probably making a better choice than what I've made here so um, for the purposes of this video these are the ones I'm going to use and until I'm done them I have 16 of them so I'm going to use them but but uh, yeah find yourself a ring that doesn't open and close just a, a little plastic ring is good okay and so so we've got that tightened on there. And now, um, as we can see, that's where our towel is, is going to go. I've cut these ends shorter and I'm gonna just hide them in between the two layers. Cut them a little short. Um, you should hide them. And then when they come out, then cut them. <laughs> it's easier, but there we go. I'll just put them in just like that, okay? And so now you've got uh, that all ready and now it's time to put your um, your pom-pom on. So you want to cut a piece of yarn, just a, a, a length to tie it. Tie it on maybe six, seven, eight inches. Um, give yourself some slack so that you can work easily with it, okay? And you're going to thread your your needle. I'm gonna grab my, my uh, measuring tape here because I wanna go about three inches down from the ring. About there, so three inches down from the ring and I'm going to go through both layers. Then I'm gonna find the little loop that's on my pom-pom. Go through that. And then I'm going to tighten it with a knot. And then hide these two layers. You can do three knots if you like, doesn't matter however you're comfortable with, but I think two, two is enough. It's not a heavy thing, so it, it holds. Then I'm going to thread that, and I'm going to go ahead and hide that between the two layers, pull it through, cut it off. Okay, so that's again, three inches down. So now I'm going to put this whole thing inside out And you see where you've tied that pom-pom right there? That's gotta be your front because then that lines up the ring behind, behind the pom-pom so that when you hang your towel, your towel is hanging behind the nose. So um, that's at the front, but it doesn't matter. It adds character actually, because it makes the, the, pom the beanie not look quite so straight and perfect. So now if you fold this up, you can see the idea there, okay? All right, so now I'm going to, and let me just give you a measure there on how, how high my cuff is. It's about one and a half inches, which, you know, make it however you like it. Um, that's about how I do mine though. So then I've got my bead and you know, it's really great because I found these beads at um, uh, a garage sale and I got a whole bucket of them for next to nothing. I'm just gonna grab my, my um, glue gun here. 
And so they're going to be just a wonderful craft addition to, to these little gnomes. Okay, so you simply want to um, lift up your beanie in about the middle. I'm going to glue along the side here. And I'm going to just stick it up in there just like that and press. Close to the edge. See, I didn't... Um, I didn't put it too far in, just close to the edge there. And now, the reason why I said those little circles don't matter is because I'm gonna put a pile of glue there too. A little dab of glue. And then I'm going to push this on. It just makes it look a little bit more, um, I will wipe that off, so no worries. It makes it a little bit more, um, what's the word? It just looks better, it looks like, like you've put like the, like the nose is just really, really um, shaped well in there when you, when you glue gun the sides down as well. So I did it when I made the first one, I, I didn't do the sides and, and I didn't um, like it as much as when I, when I do it this way. It secures it and it peeks it out and it just gives this little bump here to, to, to give an image that there is a nose under there. So just a little tip that uh, I think just makes a real difference, okay? So now all we need to do is make a pom-pom and add it to the top. Now, I'm not gonna make that on this video because I do have a video of how to make a pom-pom and I'm sure that um, that you all have your own little ways of making a pom-pom. If you don't, um, just wrap 40 rounds around your fingers, your two fingers, go 40 times, then put a piece of string up in the middle here and tie it tight in the middle and make your pom-pom that way. I have a little a little uh, pom-pom gadget here again that I found at a second-hand store. I'm a great shop for, for second-hand and, and uh, and garage sales. I, I love going and I love looking for little treasures. This makes a bigger pom-pom and I use this side, which is about the width of my two fingers, to, to make a little pom-pom for this. And um, you can find a video on, on that on my channel as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a pom-pom and then I'll see you back. I went ahead and made my pom-pom using my two fingers um, instead of that little machine because I wanted to show you how, how nice it turns out. Then you can you can either glue gun it on if you like or poke it in through um, the top into the inside and then take the other side. I always sew it on I think. When you sew it on and then you tie it on the inside it tightens the string that's around the inside of the, uh, at the center of the pom-pom and then uh, it it holds your fibers in your individual fibers in place a little bit better so it just strengthens them so I bring it through try to get it as close to the middle as possible but I missed here so I'm going to just do it like this just uh, for the purpose of the video but usually try to get it up through the center there but it really doesn't matter actually because um, you've got it hidden and you know it's centered at the top you're gonna go between the two layers there There we go. <laughs> so again, where that little um, stitch is, that's, that's the front. And I just like how it just gives it like a little bit of a crinkled look. So it doesn't look so polished. And, and, uh, and I think that's good because when we have our beanies on, it doesn't look so polished, right? And then I have my towel. I'm gonna clean up my workstation here for you. But before I do that, um, I am going to put a little tiny bit, if this glue gun is still hot, a little bit of glue right there. Not hot enough, I'm gonna just um, redo it. Plug it in. I'm going to uh, add a little bit more glue. I did to this side, now I've got to cut this little piece because the glue wasn't hot enough. So um, I'll cut that off with my scissors. But what I want you to do is pick up the side here, fluff down, the pom-pom as best as you can, and then put a little bead of glue right in line with that bead there and secure it down onto your, on, right onto your pom-pom and do that on both sides. Uh, and that'll keep that secure. I'm just gonna grab my scissors here real quick while I have you on, on uh, line here. And I'm just gonna cut this little bead of glue off. It's not gonna make my glue gun was a little bit too um, too cold. And you know, the problem is, I got this glue gun from the Dollarama. 
don't do that. Go get yourself a good glue gun from your craft store. Um, it doesn't make the glue hot enough. Um, so uh, it, it sometimes will give you problems just like what I'm showing you here online. So um, if, if, uh, if you haven't got yourself a good glue gun yet, don't buy one from Dollarama. Go ahead and get a one that heats up the glue a little bit hotter than this um, so that you can work better with it, okay? So I'm going to do the same to this side. Just about an inch of, of a line there. Then I'm going to carefully press it down onto my pom-pom, just like that, okay? Secure it a bit, okay? So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead, clean up my little tray here a little bit, and I'm going to add my, my towel. So all you're gonna do is, is go to the back of your, of your um, hat there, pull up your ring, and then put your, your towel on, and, and then you will just uh, smooth it out and make it nice and even after you um, have folded your hat back over. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my towel on. I'm going to Put my hat over top, fix up my brim, fold up my, make sure that the ends are at the same length that I like them. Just smooth that all out. Oh, this is so adorable. And then, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blow dry my pom-pom. This one looks great, so I probably won't, wouldn't have to, but this is what it looks like. And you've got it in the back too. You've got your brimmed hat there in the back. Um, but this is a counter towel, hand towel um, gnome that I made. I'm gonna be adding another video to my channel uh, showing you how to make one that hangs from your stove. Um, it's a little bit, it'll have a little bit different of a hat than this one, so stay tuned for that one. Um, be watching for that on my channel. Um, but this one, I always like to have a towel on my counter for just wiping my hands if I'm cooking or if I, you know, if I wash my hands and I just need to dry them. Um, I like to have this a towel sitting on my counter. So um, these are countertop gnomes, countertop gnome uh, towel toppers so um, and also I'm gonna actually put a, a bathroom towel on uh, one of these gnomes and put it on my bathroom counter when guests come over especially and you have a little candle there and you have your soap your Christmas soap and you have a little gnome towel holder sitting on your counter for them to dry their hands what a beautiful little idea so there you go my friends there is our um, our gnome uh, countertop towel I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So again, make sure you blow dry your pom-pom because it'll look even more fluffier and it'll be beautiful. So thank you for watching this video. I sure appreciate your support. Um, if you haven't already done so, it would be um, just uh, awesome if you would hit that subscribe button and the like button. I'd appreciate that very much. Um, and yeah, I've got lots of ideas and I'll be adding videos on a regular basis. So thanks for watching my friends. I can't wait to see all your projects uh, on some of the face group uh, groups that we are all on. Okay, take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.